Hi y'all, this is Larry from Deep South Texas. I've got my toothbrush and it's time to go to work in the garden. So every morning, about 10 o'clock, I go into the garden and I hit my tomato flowers with the electric toothbrush. Trying to help the pollination process. The toothbrush just uh, shakes the flower and hopefully, hopefully shakes some of the pollen down and fertilizes the flower. Now this only works on tomatoes. It won't work on peppers, but uh, tomatoes are self-pollinating, so it does a pretty good job. Now last year, I had misplaced my electric toothbrush. And so I didn't do that. And I didn't have a very good tomato harvest last year. But luckily I found the toothbrush when we were cleaning up a little bit. And so I've been out busily uh, trying to help the pollination on my tomatoes. I was out hand pollinating my tomato flowers with my electric toothbrush and I saw this uh, branch that had been stripped of leaves. So I knew I knew I had one of those uh, hornworms in here someplace. And I just kept following the plant looking for more damage and eventually I found him. So I was out in the garden this morning and I found my uh, first tomato hornworm of the season. And this guy was pretty big, so he'd been uh, chewing on my tomatoes for a while. I usually get uh, a few of these every year. Not, not really bad, but uh, it's best to get them off as quickly as possible because they eat a lot of tomato leaves. So it's a good idea, after you found uh, the tomato hornworm, to come back and clip off the damaged part of the tomato. Because there will be more of them and uh, they're easy to spot mainly by spotting the damage they do to the plants. So if you clip off the damaged parts of the plants then uh, if you see any damage the next day you know you have a new, a new invader. So I can usually get to uh, all the flowers on my tomato plants in the garden with one charge of the toothbrush but uh, one day this week I had to go back in and recharge it because there were just too many flowers and it's pretty pretty important to uh, get these uh, tomato flowers pollinated right now because we're about to uh, reach a point where it will be too hot here in deep south Texas to pollinate tomatoes so we're trying to get as many tomatoes started as possible right now. Well, I hope you enjoyed this short video on some of my tomato plant maintenance tasks. If you did, please hit that thumbs up. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time.